Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to detect outliers or anomalies in a given data set using interquartile range based method. Before we proceed with the method, first we will try to understand what are outliers. Outliers are the values in the data set which stands out from the rest of the data. The outliers occur in the data set because of uh, different reasons. The first one is uh, error in reading the data, fault in the given system, manual error or misreading. There are many methods are there to detect the outliers in the given data set. Out of that, uh, these are the two popular methods for detecting and removing the outliers. The first one is IQR that is interquartile range based outlier detection and removal. Second one is Z score based method to outlier detection and removal. In this video, I will discuss uh, IQR based method. In the next video, I will discuss Z score based method to detect the outliers and remove them from the given data set. To understand uh, the IQR based outlier detection and removal, I will consider this particular data set. The data set contains uh, 15 values in this, in this case. In IQR method, first we need to arrange this particular data set in the ascending order. So the data is already in the ascending order, so there is no issue. If the data is not in the ascending order, we need to arrange this particular data set in ascending order and then we need to proceed with the second step. In second step, uh, we need to calculate the two values. The first one is called as Q1, second one is called as Q3. Now what is Q1? Q1 is 25th percentile value. Q3 is 75th, 75th percentile value here. Now how to calculate Q1? Q1 is calculated using this formula that is 1 into n plus 1 divided by 4th term or the 4th value. So n value in this case is 15. So 15 plus 1 is 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So the 4th value in the given data set. So what is the 4th value in this case? 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the 4th value in the given data set that is nothing but Q1 here. Now what is Q3? Q3 is 3 times n plus 1 divided by 4th term over here. So n plus 1 divided by 4 is equal to 4. 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. So the 12th value in the given data set. That is this is 4th one, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. So 12th term or the 12th value in the given data set is 64. So 64 is nothing but Q3 over here. Once you calculate Q1 and Q3, next we need to calculate IQR. IQR is nothing but Q3 minus Q1 here. In this case, 64 minus 19, which is equal to 45. So IQR, that is nothing but interquartile range, is 45 in this case. Once you calculate IQR, next we need to define the threshold. Threshold is equal to 1.5 times IQR. So 1.5 times uh, 45 in this case, which is equal to 67.5 over here. So once you calculate the threshold, we need to calculate the minimum and the maximum boundary so that we can select the data set which is a proper one and then we can remove the outliers from the given data set. So the lower threshold or the lower boundary can be calculated using this formula that is the Q1 minus IQR over here. So in this case Q1 is equal to we have already calculated that is 19 IQR is equal to 67.5 which is equal to minus 48.5 over here. And the upper threshold is calculated using this formula that is Q1, uh, actually this Q3 here, Q3 plus IQR over here. So Q3 plus IQR, Q3 is what we have already calculated that is 64 plus this IQR that is 67.5 which is equal to 131.5 here. Now once you calculate these two values that is lower threshold and upper threshold you can easily detect the outliers. Anything which is less than this lower threshold or the lower boundary is an outlier. Anything which is greater than this particular upper boundary or upper threshold is an outlier in this case. So in this case, we have been given this particular data set. If you look at this particular data set, minus 50 is less than minus 48.5. So this is an outlier here. Similarly, 1456 is, is greater than 131.5. Hence, it is also outlier remaining all are present in a given range hence they are not a outliers over here so the outliers are minus 50 and 1456 in this particular given data set over here so in this video i have discussed how can we calculate or how can we find 
the outliers using IQR based method. In the next video, I will discuss how can we detect and remove outliers using Z-score based method in machine learning. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.